here we go. All right, guys, game number four. This is the ACL, AOC Champions League. Uh, this is the early stages of the tournament. I think it's called the group stage here. Playing for points here, playing all four games. Vinchester right now is up two games to one, uh, but he will be walking onto Fire's home map this time. Fire is going to be the home, the, the representative of the Masters of Islands. Uh, so we do expect Fire to uh, have a really good chance at winning this one. This is Killer B. Thanks for joining me. If you guys haven't seen the previous couple games, definitely watch the last one. Holy cow. Definitely watch the last one. Absolute barn burner. Anyway, in this game, we'll see Vinch in that beautiful pink-purple color playing as Saracens once again. We saw Saracens earlier in this series on a map that had some water. Neither player really went intensely into water. This game, we will see Saracens once again. Uh, pushing deer at the moment is Vinchester. Let's look at the islands. Okay, Vinch's island will have his uh, one main big gold pile relatively close to the edge of the water. Not too bad. I think he'll be safe enough. Another gold pile out there on the edge. All three of these uh, kind of out on this peninsula. But none of them are terribly uh, close to the water. Maybe this one is a bit annoying. Uh, so if Vinch loses water, that might be a little bit difficult for him to take. Vinch has a nice safe wood line on the inland part. Uh, he's going to have more stone out there. That is right on the edge of the water. A little bit annoying for him. So not the greatest map, but uh, neither player with a restart left. So we are certainly going to see them play this one out. Okay, on the other side of the map, we see Fire with his main gold to the side. That's a really nice safe gold pile. His wood line here is not quite as safe. Actually, not too many good wood lines on Fire's island. That's interesting. Fire's going to have to go a little bit of a distance. He's going to have plenty of wood. It's not going to be a big deal. But uh, certainly nothing as good as Vinchester's starting wood line. Anyway, Fire's going to have uh, main gold relatively close to the shore. Uh, main stone in a very safe position. More stone in a safe position. Uh, both players might lure in their boars with their scouts to save a little bit of villager time. Your scout is not that useful on these, these type of maps. Okay, one relic on the far corner of Fire's Island. A second relic there. Vinchester has three relics on his island. So Vinch with a little bit of a relic advantage. He's going to have three relics on his island that he can grab uh, early on in the castle age if he wants to. Okay, fire luring in that first boar. Uh, and for now, we see a, you know, very normal Dark Age start. Castle Age start in uh, the Mega Random game was Saracens v. Saracens. Uh, in this case, we're going to see a just a normal Dark Age start. We're going to see players probably start to dock, get some fish out, uh, and get themselves ready for a little bit of a boom into a, a big water battle one would expect. But hey, expect the unexpected. Finch coming out to drop a dock as we speak. Firehouse there just for a moment. Grabbing Loom, and uh, that will slow him down a little bit. Fire's going to grab Loom here on 14 Vils. You don't really need Loom on islands uh, in the Dark Age, but uh, for now, he will grab it so that he doesn't idle his TC, uh, and we will continue to uh, watch this one roll forward. Finally, I get a break from the uh, chaos of last game. Thanks for joining me here today, guys. You've heard uh, a couple of games from me, Killer B, a game with uh, Milmano as well. That was really fun. Uh, working our way through the Vinchester v. Fire part of the Champions League. Every point counts. Right now, Vinchester able to snag two points uh, away from Fire in this set and uh, trying to get a third uh, in this particular game. All right, let's see. Let's see, continuing to work their way up. Players just grabbing their boars. Looks like we might have a brief pause here in the game. Looks like we got a brief pause. All right, brief pause in the game. Chill out here for a moment. It's very early on to really say anything too crazy. I guess we can analyze the fishing situation. Fishing ships out for Finchester in this back cove. It's really not a good place to fish at all. You can see there is an absolute dearth of fish on this side. Finch is going to have one fish pile there. Um, and I think there's another here. I just can't quite find it. There you go. Another fish as well. Hard to see him when the game is paused, but you can see on the mini map, not a whole lot of fish in that bottom corner. Most of the fishing for Vinch's side of the map is up in the uh, top left corner on the west side of the map. Blue player, though, Fire is going to dock in an area that doesn't have great fish either. Fire's got a couple of, um, of areas with fish, a couple schools of fish, I suppose. But for the most part, uh, this is nothing to write home about either. Fire has also docked 
uh, a side of the map that doesn't have very much fishing. Vinch's map is passable on this corner, so keep that in mind. We might see two big navies uh, posturing around this corner of the map since the initial couple docks here are on that side. Uh, Vinch might do really well to put a dock in this top corner, and Fire might do really well to do so. Uh, but we will certainly expect to see multiple docks here in this game. But yeah, we continue to wait for a brief pause in the action. Let's see what's going on out there in the chat. Do 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 do. Let's see. Sir Brainless is asking if the caster's muted. Uh, let's see. It was my system. Guys, can one confirm if she's legit? Zikmir. Okay. Is Taft still cast on Vubly? Nope, nope. We haven't seen Taft for a while, unfortunately. Okay, so for the time being, we will take a quick break. I'll take a break with it. Looks like uh, we're shaping up to see a good game on Islands. suppose we can fill a little bit of time here looking at the Saracens tech tree. Market trade cost doesn't matter. Transport ships are beefier. Man, that could matter. Um, double carrying capacity. Yeah, it could matter. Uh, galleys attack 20% faster. Of course, that will be interesting to watch, but uh, it is a mirror game, so it might not mean too much. Both players will have the same advantages. Uh, let's see. Cav archers plus three attack versus buildings. Mameluke zealot tree. Let's see. I don't expect to see anything too crazy, but we got a couple of minutes here. So they get a full monastery. Um, let's see, what's the dock look like for the Saracens? I already went past it, but uh, most of the eco upgrades are available. Uh, we will see the ability to get uh, Zealotry if we see some Mams later in the game, but this is going to be a water battle, one would think. One would think that the water is going to decide this, but every once in a while you see a crazy landing game. Uh, let's see, no fast fire ship, demo ships are available, galley all the way to Galleon, cannon galleys as well. Uh, we have the pause over, pause is over guys, we're ready to rock and roll and continue through this game. Okay, so a brief pause there, but no big whoop, we're back into the action. Uh, both players will continue to build up their egos, we'll slow this one down here just for one second. Alright, let's see. Looks like we are okay on this game speed. Players just working their way up through the Dark Age. So yeah, brief pause in the action, no big whoop. Vinchester grabbing some shore fish at the moment. Two fishing ships, three fishing ships out for Vinch at the moment. Does he have a second dock? Where's his third fishing ship? Ah, he's using that third fishing ship to scout. Vinch is going to scout around with one of his fishing ships, and I think that's a really wise move. Considering how bad the corner of the map that he's on is for fishing, I think it's a really good idea for him to be searching around for more fish. Vinch has an extra island behind his base with a bunch of gold on it. I can't imagine that he's going to... I think this game will be decided before this is going to matter. But um, maybe a tiny advantage if this game goes really, really long into the late game. Vinch might be able to uh, land his own island there. Yeah, his scouting right now with this fishing ship is really, really going to be helpful. He's going to figure out uh, that this entire top side is full of fish. Fire, on the other hand, is not going to know too much about the fishing situation. Uh, for now, three ships out for Fire, one ship behind Vinchester. Uh, and for the most part, he's going to be fishing in yeah, waters that will be good for now. But uh, not really the greatest area as the game continues. Okay, Vinchester will grab Loom here at the end of the Dark Age. It looks like he'll be able to click up relatively soon. And uh, I would expect him to send some villagers over to gold. And we might see some galleys rolling out here relatively soon. Vinch sending a vill forward, or not forward, but over to the left here to maybe drop another dock. Uh, and maybe a little bit more fruitful waters. Okay, oh no, Vinch is going to dock the bottom corner, so his docks will be close together for galley production, I suppose. But not a whole lot of fishing, not a whole lot of fish in the sea. Barracks coming up uh, right now for Vinch. At the moment, he is sending five vills over to gold uh, so that he can sustain a little bit of galley production. Fire will be uh, almost a full minute behind Vinch going up, and that's going to be a little bit of a disadvantage for Fire, but he will be able to build a barracks of his own. He's sending just three vills over to gold, uh, and he's going to have one dock for the time being. Fire's got one dock. 
That's rather surprising to me. One dock at the moment for Mr. Fire. Yeah, I suppose a landing across the strait could be something really entertaining. We'll wait and see if something crazy like that happens. But um, for now, we're going to see Fire go into the Feudal Age with three Vils on gold and a single dock, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at the moment, Vinchester's Feudal Age comes in. He's going to have galleys coming out of one, two docks. No, he's not. Oh, wow. Why assume such things, Killer B? We'll see a transport ship out of one dock for Vinch and two galleys out of the other dock. Okay, guys, things are about to get interesting, I suppose. Blacksmith and Barracks coming up here for the pink-purple player. Vinch Fire is going to uh, hit the Feudal Age here just now. He will queue up immediately. He will queue up dot, 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 nothing. Okay, Fire's not queuing up anything at the moment. He's going to add in a stable and Blacksmith on his side of the map. And uh, Fire here very close to being able to click to Castle. So Fire will fast castle here. Uh, Vinch will not. Vinch is going to add in a couple galleys and uh, send those forward. He's going to be harassing Fire's eco a bit. He's also going to add a transport ship. Keep an eye on this transport. For now, it's headed over toward a scout and two villagers. Fire's going to have to be really diligent with his scout and make sure that he's patrolling around the edges of the water on the map uh, because Vinch is going to land him. Looks like Vinch is ready to get in for a landing. Okay, so Vinchester roaming forward. He's going to put a lot of heat on Fire's uh, initial couple of ships. Fire will have uh, the ability to build some knights on his side of the map if he wants to. I shouldn't say knights, but cavalry will be an option here relatively soon. Castle Age on the way. Okay, let's see. For now, the um, yeah, we see the galleys now from Vinchester rolling in and idling the food economy from Fire. Fire's going to have eh, a little bit in the bank to work with when he gets up to the next stage. But Vinch is both galleying and forwarding his opponent at the same time. And I can't imagine Fire is expecting both. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if Fire can scout this out. Vinchester will drop an archery range on the front. And this other villager is going to go where? Vinch might be able to use the scout's increased vision to uh, keep an eye on his opponent without actually getting too close to be seen. If we look from Fire's Fog of War, uh, he does not know Vinch is here yet. Vinch is hiding in the Fog of War. He's going to drop double archery ranges on the front. Oh yeah, double ranges coming on the front. For now, Fire is in retreat with his fishing ships. Maybe going to run those to the corner and hide for a little while. Vinch out with four, five, six galleys, I guess. Maybe five galleys. Fire will add in a transport ship as well. And he's going to he's going to forward his opponent. So Castle Age on the way. Both players thinking about going forward with a couple of vills in the landing. Uh, Vinch's landing will be here first. He's going to be really careful, I would expect, to hide his scout. But I think it was inside of the viewpoint of Fire just for a second. Yeah, now he's definitely within Fire's view. So Fire knows that he's been landed. Let's see if he responds by not landing his opponent. Nope, Fire is going to... Yeah, for now he's looking like he's going to send over a knight, a scout, and a couple of villagers. We'll see if he decides to. Now that he knows that Vinch is here, Vinch is going to... No, that's Fire dropping a TC there in defense. I see. I thought that was Vinch's TC. Vinch doing a nice job to stand in the foundation of that TC. Uh, putting a little bit of damage on these vills. Don't know if he can kill one, but he's doing some annoyance. Unfortunately, Vinchester losing his scout there. And uh, two knights on the way over from Fire. Not nearly enough for Vinchester to be able to fight this. Fire's fast castle seems to be a very good choice in retrospect. Uh, because he's going to be able to kill Vinchester's forward now. Fire's ability to build some knights is going to really, really help him in this particular case. That being said, one of those knights on low HP will be pulled out for a moment. Fire continuing to build up his TC, chopping down Vinchester's Vils, uh, scale barding on the way for the blue player. So Vinch goes for a landing, and uh, he tipped his cap. He put his scout very close to this barracks, and I don't exactly know why. Uh, he needed to have uh, the element of surprise, I think, in his favor. Unfortunately, he lost the element of surprise there. And uh, now he's losing his forward to a couple of knights. Some of these knights are on low HP. Maybe Vinch will be able to grab uh, a couple of those eventually. Uh, but it looks like for now, Fire's actually going to disregard that forward and start sending across a transport ship with five knights. Vinchester on the water is doing a, did a decent job with galleys to harass the fish. Fire, though, is starting to add in some fire ships. Those initial couple fire ships aren't going to get the job done. Vinch is 5v1 against the fire ship. Even though he's in uh, to feudal galley production, it's still 5v1, and he's going to get another fire ship there. Uh, so Vinch able to control a little bit of the water, able to annoy fire even for a little bit longer. Uh, but I think it's going to be some pretty intense raiding coming in from those knights. 
Vinchester right now is going to be halfway up to Castle. He'll have a few archers uh, coming on the forward end. He's walling himself up back at home. He's got a range back at home. Uh, and for now, I think his wood line should be safe unless there's a hole in this top corner. Those knights are going to have to run past the TC. And uh, look at this. Mass villagers from Vinch trying to finish up the walls. Uh, let's see if he gets the job done here in time. Looks like he should be able to. One villager blocking. Okay, fine. Vinch finishes up the walls, and those initial couple knights from the blue player uh, are going to be walled out for a minute. Vinch has to be very diligent here, though, to keep those knights out. Certainly losing a lot of gather time, uh, but the uh, pink player, to his advantage, has seven fishing ships out on the map. Okay, so knights roaming around inside the eco here from fire. Fire's uh, getting a little bit on the offensive in the early castle age. We're seeing Vinchester just about to hit castle. Maybe he can TC this wood line to keep himself safe from those knights. Uh, right off the bat, Vinch is going to drop a monastery inside of those walls. So he's going to hold those knights out and try to convert a few of them, I suppose. Uh, Vinch has a couple of archers forward. Looks like he's got four of them there. Fire carving off one knight to keep pressure on that side. One full HP knight. Vinchester is now in retreat on the front from fire ships from Mr. Fire. Okay, so for the time being, both players have landed. Fire's landing has just been a couple of knights. Uh, we have not seen any buildings yet from Fire. He's uh, more focused... Uh, more focused on maybe doing some damage to a couple of villagers. Back at home, fire is on two TCs. Siege Workshop coming down for him. Third TC coming as we speak. Blue player is uh, five villagers ahead and might continue to pull away. Should continue to pull away as this game continues. Siege Workshop will help ram down the forward or mangonel down the forward. Depends on what fire chooses. Uh, looks like a monk on the way for Mr. Vinchester. Okay, so Vinch has got a monk out already. He's going to try to push those knights away with a bit of the woo-woo. No, rather the... Oh, man, is there an opening in that wall? Looks like there's an opening there. Not the woo-woo. He's going to try to wolalo, I suppose, and uh, push those knights away, make a little bit of noise. Fire ship putting a little bit of heat on Vinchester's dock. Uh, fire sending a landing right past Vinchester's fishing. Uh, Vinch was paying attention. He's probably going to see this. But look at this. Two knights will be able to come into the... Not quite come into the back area here. Vinchester, actually with a really good bit of walling, able to um, wall in even the backside of this wood line, the part that wasn't vulnerable to those initial knights. He does also wall in, so the landing here is not going to get much done. Vinchester will get a TC up on that wood line. Uh, and for now, we'll see a knight converted, a monk go down, two knights converted. Uh, and it looks like Fire's initial bit of aggression will slow down. Vinchester converted the two full HP knights, which is a really big deal. Uh, he's leaving Fire with just one 24 HP knight. So Vinch here uh, maybe gets... Um, Gets a little bit of a uh, little conversion coming in potentially. No, at the moment, it uh, looks like that will be not a factor. Uh, but Vinch able to absorb some early Castle Age aggression from Fire. Vinch will lose his forward on Fire's Island. Uh, but for now, I don't think it's going to matter too, too much. Vinch probably uh, has a decent chance at coming back in this game. Vinch hiding in the fog of war with a couple galleys on the top of the map. Fire with not much in the bank, but uh, actually quite a lot of gold Vinch at the moment not saving really anything. Vinchester's food economy just now uh, gets discovered by Fire's fire ships. Fire will put a little bit of damage down on his opponent. So yeah, for now, Fire with a bit of an advantage, but he's only two villagers ahead. Uh, he's just now cleaned up his opponent's uh, fish boom, so that will help him uh, slow Vinchester down. Vinch is actually going to add in a fourth TC up on the stone pile on the top side, and uh, he's going to start grabbing relics. Vinch here is in a pretty good position uh, to defend himself. Fire in the score lead, uh, in the lead in this one for sure. Uh, but Vinch certainly has a chance to uh, continue to fight this one out. He can definitely still win this. Uh, he will lose his dock. He'll lose a few houses. He's going to be running in the fog of war, or rather sailing in the fog of war, try to keep his fishing ships alive and his transport ship alive. Uh, but for now, no knockout blow has been delivered. Okay, so Masters of Islands representative here is Fire. Fire is representing himself very nicely here on this particular map. So far, uh, we've seen Vinch land forward with archers. That kind of failed pretty quickly. We've seen Fire bring forward a couple of knights. Those did not really do too much damage. 
uh, and we've stabilized this game. Four TCs for the pink player, three TCs uh, for the blue player. Villager counts continuing to creep up. Fire, though, does control the water. He's uh, not able to find some of Vinchester's last couple ships, uh, but, you know, Fire here certainly can do some harassing from the shore with his fire ships if he wants to. Knight in the Monk coming up from Vinchester. Vinch is going to try to uh, maybe maybe see if he can do a little bit of something here. Actually, look at this. Uh, Vinch will commit to a fight here against Fire, but uh, Fire's going to take down all three of those galleys. Oh, no, Vinch lures him in just close enough to not quite get a conversion there. Okay, so Vinchester uh, is trying to do a little bit of something with his monk there on the front. I think he's grabbed the relics already. Uh, yeah, Vinch will uh, convert a fire ship there. Fire ships now uh, are in favor of Vinchester, and he's going to get a small win on the water. Vinchester able to get a bit of a win on the water. Fire still got more fire ships uh, roaming around the map, but at least for now, Vinch will have a little bit of a win in his category. At least he's able to stabilize uh, that corner of his water for a moment. Fire clicking to Imperial, going with scale mail armor. Vinchester uh, scouting around a little bit with his docks. It looks like Fire is adding in more and more docks. Fire is ready to commit to a, a rather serious water battle by the looks of it. War galley on the way, ballistics on the way, Imperial Age on the way for Fire. Vinch on the other side of the map is going to have the gold to go up, but not the food. Vinch needs a little bit of food. If his fishing economy wasn't GG, uh, he probably would have enough food now to go up. Had eight fishing ships working, but Fire was able to sniff them out. Still one dock alive for Vinch. Uh, wheelbarrow on the way for Vinchester. And for now, we continue to work our way through this early game. Vinchester getting wheelbarrow. That seems a little bit, seems a lot late to me, but uh, what do I know? Vinch right now is going to send forward three monks and a knight. So he's ready to maybe try to, try to annoy his opponent a little bit here. I uh, don't know exactly what the plan is. Maybe convert a few vills. If um, if fire had knights, which he does, I suppose they would certainly not want to run into this group of three monks. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, those monks are going to circle back to the water. Nope, for now they're going to continue to go forward. Oh, no. Vinch is a little bit out over his skis. These monks are unguarded. They're actually not even going to start converting at all until the knights are upon them. And those monks are all going to die for free. Oh, no. One conversion, but unfortunately, Vinchester converts the lowest HP uh, knight. Very quick conversion there, but uh, Vinch able to get one knight. And uh, his landing is basically kaput. Man, eight the fire will outboom Vinch now. Yeah, fire is booming pretty well. Galleon on the way, Bracer on the way. Vinch is trying to get War Galley, but he's so far behind. Fire's got five docks. Vinch right now has, I believe, two docks. No, no, he's got more docks on the front than I did not give him credit for. Vinch adding in more docks as well. He's going to have six total, but he's going to be out teched by quite a lot here very shortly. Right now, these guys can stand toe to toe, uh, but fire will very, very soon have uh, Galleon in and Bracer as well. Okay, so Fire is the master of islands. He's the reigning champion, I suppose. So we may not be too surprised by the fact that he's starting to control this game. Imperial Age is in for him. Vinchester can click up somewhat soon, uh, but he's going to have to grab ballistics, and Vinch is still trying to compete for the water. Uh, going to be a really, really difficult fight for him. Fire with Galleon. Got to say it like that. That's how it's said, right? Uh, those units are just going to out-tech the war galleys by quite a lot. 165 HP, 11 damage, uh, and 10 range, versus 135 HP, 9 damage, and 8 range. Just a really tough game for Vinch to try to pull back. He will drop a castle on the front of his area to try to shore up his ability to produce naval uh, uh, ships. More docks coming forward for the purple pink player here Vinch. Vinch will lose a vill or two in the process of building that castle but he will control this part of the strait which is going to be a nice little bit of an advantage for him. Vinch will go to Imperial. He's adding in more and more docks just trying to get himself into a position to come back into this game. Fire is raiding on the back of Vinch's economy as well though with a couple of galleons. Those are going to continue to pick away at Vils. You can see Vinch has lost three or four Vils there. Maybe just not able to pay attention to all these things going on at the same time. So Vinchester here is in a bit of hot water. He's, uh, his docks are under pressure. His castle is up to defend part of his, uh, some of his docks. But unfortunately, he's losing quite a lot of uh, damage on his dock here. And that one should go down relatively soon. Fire is uh, actually going to lose interest in that. And he's maybe going to start looking for Vinch's navy. Now he'll go back to killing that dock. 
Finch hiding in the back right now with his uh, small group of war galleys. For now, he is alive and kicking, but uh, only 11 military for the pink player, 31 uh, for fire, and much of that 31 is a very, uh, very highly upgraded galley. Chemistry on the way for fire, careening on the way for Vinch. Maybe Vinch is going to think about, I don't know, doing something desperate here in the end of this game. Vinch has to find a way to get back into this. Uh, he does absolutely, although he's up 2-1, to one, uh, he absolutely needs every point he can get. Okay, let's see. Galleys, Galleons rolling around, uh, sailing around every part of the map. Uh, fire is just looking to find the navy of his opponent. Bracer coming in for Vinchester. Uh, no upgrade yet to Galleon. That's right. So at the moment, we are seeing uh, Fire really starting to walk away with this one. Outteching his opponent by a lot, outnumbering his opponent's navy by a lot. Uh, Vinchester has a nice stable economy of 102 vils, but not able to keep up military production. Uh, neither player floating a lot of resource. We can see Fire's relatively close to being able to drop a castle if he wants to, but uh, we will see. Fire's close enough to get trebbed from shore. How about that? John T. Uh, basically predicting that this was going to happen. Well played, John T. Kelly. Vinchester will GG out of game number four here. Uh, this series will go two to two. Both players will carry two points uh, as they continue to work through the early stages of the AOC Champions League. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, I'm Killer B. Appreciate everybody hanging out and having fun watching these games with me. Uh, we will continue to see these games. I think tomorrow there's another set. You can find all that information on AOCZone.net. Okay, thanks again, guys. This game is over. We'll see Fire win the Masters of Island, and this series will go 2-2. Two to two. There you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that set of games. I know I did. I know I did. It lasted longer than I expected. We had a 30-minute delay at the beginning, which was a bummer. But, hey, that's life. you got to roll with it. you got to roll with it sometimes. GG's all around, and we will see. We will see how this tournament shapes up as it continues to go forward. I uh, want to say thanks again to you guys for being here. And uh, we did get a donation earlier. I'll wait for the scroll to come back around. Let me see if I can actually find that donation message. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, the message was something like, Clan Masters, Clan Masters. Uh, and the donor was, drum roll please, we'll just wait for this real quick. I want to make sure I don't misquote the donor. Uh, Vubli is matching donations with 50% of their own money. So if you donate 10 bucks, uh, 15 goes into the fund for the uh, for the winners of this tournament. You can find all the details for that stuff on AOCZone.net. Thanks, Farmer, for all of the love. Super Jupe Fly. Thanks again. Thanks to you as well. Is this the end, says Entic? Yeah, it's the end for me. Um, I think the channel will soon be hosted to uh, somebody else who's live if you guys are still interested uh, in seeing more AOC action today. Just waiting for the scroll to come around. Ben, I don't want to say the wrong person's name, uh, but thank you to our donor today. Let's figure this out. I'm pretty confident about who the donor was, but I don't want to mess this up. Don't screw this up. SMB, thanks to you, man. Thanks for all you do in the community. Just before we go, I want to say thank you to our donor from today. Donor scroll is ever so slow. We'll see more games tomorrow. Ah, it's Henzor. Yep, okay, Henzor. Appreciate that very much, Henzor. And the uh, the text in that was Champions League, Champions League. Thanks, Henzor. Appreciate it. Just wanted to make sure I didn't say the wrong name. That would have been uh, really um, ungrateful. Let me update the score just in case anybody out there has OCD as bad as I do. Uh, let's go ahead and make the score here 2-2. Two to two. We will see these guys split this series. How about game number three of that series? That was absolutely a wet-your-pants sort of game. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. This is Killer B signing off. Catch you all later. Have a good night. Thanks again. Much love. Peace, peace, peace. 20 GMT Friday for Fire for Viper v. Tato. 10 GMT Sunday for Tato v. Vinch. There you go, guys. There's all the info that you wanted and needed. All right. Au revoir.